Hi everyone. I'm back. It's been a while. Yeah, I um, I have a table full of stuff, um, but this is from multiple thrifting. So I think my camera's moving on me again. It likes to do that. Um, it definitely is moving, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, let's hope it stops there. So I've got a bunch of stuff to show you and I'm trying to take pictures and get it cleaned off my table again because my table's overrun. And um, so um, here we go, got a lot of stuff. So to start with, um, this is just a Blackhawks Champions, a Conference Champions hat from um, 2015. Now, normally I wouldn't pick this up, um, but when I was looking at, I mean, I look, I pick them up and look at them just to, because I want to see if they're authentic um, with, um, with the, I can't think the hologram, you know, so that tells you they're authentic. So anyway, so I, I just picked it up, was looking at it and it's got two signatures on it. Now I do have to get it authenticated, but because it's a 2015, um, Stanley cup final champions conference champions, um, with the two signatures on it, two autographs on it, I have to get it authenticated. But that's going to go for quite a good, quite a bit of money. I paid nine fifty for it, and I have twenty percent off of that. So I paid what seven fifty, seven dollars for it. I don't remember. I don't know. I would have to do math, and I don't want to do math. So, anyway, yeah. So um, that is the the first thing I got. Want the first of many things to show you. Um, for those of you who know Fiesta, you also know that Homer Laughlin was part of Fiesta. And I found this um, Homer Laughlin fall gravy boat. And so it's in the Fiesta family. And so Fiesta wear. I paid $3.99, 20% off of that. Um, so yeah, I got that. And uh, you know me and Fitz and Floyd. So there's a ton of Fitz and Floyd on this table. So I'm going to kind of show you that last. Um, big pan, big old pan. It's a casserole pan. And it's enamelware, and it's gorgeous. Um, this is uh, Villery and Bach, and beautiful. It's got a few little, you know, you know how metal pan, metal spoons make marks on it. So it's got a few little marks that I'm sure I can get those. Out. So it's in beautiful condition. This thing is just gorgeous. I paid. Oh, how much did I pay for this? Um, don't remember not much I think I paid $8.99 for it not much looking online I can sell this for about $100 it's cast iron enameled and so it's very heavy very sturdy brass uh, handles and so very very pretty I'm so excited about this um, I picked these up yet and I, and I haven't researched these but you can tell they're vintage um, it's the cork inside, but it's Martha Washington and, and George Washington, salt and pepper shakers, and very old vintage. The gold is starting to wear off. Um, I need to clean them up. I need to break that cork up that's in there, in both of them, actually. Um, the cork is in both of them. Um, older corks, they tend to shrink and it, they got pushed inside. So aren't those pretty? Um, I don't know how much they're worth. I haven't looked them up yet, but I just thought they were gold and pretty and I've got so many salt and pepper shakers. So many salt and pepper shakers. Um, I also found these, they're called Pristine England, and they hold uh, tea, tea uh, bags. So um, for somebody who drinks a lot of tea, I drink a lot of tea, but I never take my tea bag out. And some people say that it makes it too strong or too bitter or whatever. I will just keep putting water in my teacup over and over and and pop it in the microwave and reheat it um so i never take my tea bag out but anyway so for tea drinkers they're gonna like that um for that because it came with a plastic one too that i might just give to my grand darlings to put in their little um kitchenware set that they have um so but that one's really cute actually it's it looks like it's um yeah made in china yeah, so it's not really worth, you know, somebody had a tea bag collection, so 
they got that got thrown in there so I paid $5.99 for these and I can sell these for 20 um, plus the 20% off so I, I'm I, can, I think what I'm doing is showing you everything I got on um, senior day yeah yeah at unique I'm considered a senior citizen <laughs> and so I get 20% off yeah shut up <laughs> anyway um yeah let me see uh lots of fits and Floyd I think that was I don't know I probably have some other stuff in here that I got for 20% off but um I also found oh that was so I always do that don't I some um Christmas tree ornaments I have quite a few Christmas stuff and one of the little balls just came off of one of these. I have to put it back on. But this looks like it's handmade, little Snoopy. It's a really cute little wooden one. And then this one, little um, cardinal on top, little birdhouse, really pretty. Now this one is a Lennox, and it's, um, I don't remember what year it was, but it was a Lennox collection piece. And I've had it here for about a month, and the little wire thing I could just if I don't lose it first I can put it back on not a big deal I paid a dollar 99 for the three of these and I'm actually gonna stick that one back in the bag just so I don't lose that ball until I get a chance to hook it back on there um, so I paid a dollar 99 for those let me see um this is and this was not chipped in the store so I'm really mad that the way they, they wrapped it and packaged it and put it in the bag, it got chipped and I got home and I was really mad. But anyway, this is lettuce, uh, lettuce, I think it's called lettuce ware, but um, Bardello Pinheiro from Portugal. Anyway, you can look these up without the chip in it, which is right there. I'm just really upset that it got chipped. I paid um, $1.99 for it, and I was really excited because this, this without the chip in it, would have gone for about $20. Um, with the chip, I can, might be able to, it's a, it's a pretty substantial chip now, so I may not be able to even sell it. It just, yeah, you really have to watch these people when they wrap things up because they don't care. They don't take care of anything. Um, this one is Pyrex. Now, I quit getting Pyrex because I have a ton of Pyrex, but I say that, and I've got some Pyrex over here, too. <laughs> anyway, but I liked the brown, and the, and I did know the name of this, but I don't remember now, but um, I paid, like, $1.99 for this, and um, I'll sell it for, I don't know, $13. i will make a little bit of money on it. Not a lot, but... Uh, Pyrex is, was in demand. It's not so much in demand anymore. And so, uh, this I paid $3.99 for, and it's the Bohemian, Bohemian Cut Glass Red. Um, you saw that I had that Voss, that vase, um, Voss vase, however you want to say it. Um, I sold that for $100, and I paid $60 for that. This I paid $1.99 for beautiful uh it's got the flashing um on the outside and actually my landlord her mother did this for a living and what they do is they take the glass and they flash the, the paint on it and then they actually hand cut all of the all of these designs so one person will hand cut all the little round and then they hand it off to somebody else who hand cuts all the, the lace along the top. Um, so yeah, so these are all hand done and beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, the flashing actually, you can kind of see through here when the light's shining through it, but to the naked eye, you really can't see that the flashing is starting to come off a little bit, which for a flash, flash something flashed, um, the paint comes off over the years and so I'm really surprised that this is in such good condition. I'll probably list this for $25 to $30. So um real excited about about that. Very, very, very pretty. Um now if any of you have ever heard of uranium glass, um 
it glows when you put a flashlight on it or a black light. Um, I have two different types of uranium glass here. I've got the green, which it, in the light, you're not going to be able to see it as well. But see how, oh, I guess you can see how that just glows. You know, you have uranium glass when it glows. So it, isn't that just amazing how that does that? So I, there were four of these um, parfait glasses and I paid $1.99 each plus the 20% off. So this was on my 20% off list, but I didn't get the fourth one. I only got three because the fourth one had a big chip in it. So I'm, I, I left it. Um, and then, and it comes in, you can get it green, pink, and yellow. Now I've got the two yellow, look how delicate these are, um, the cream and sugar pieces. Um, I paid $2 each for these. Um, these were Salvation Army ones here. Um, now the, the, the yellow glows, see how it glows like a purple color? Um, again, that's, that's the uranium glass. This is depression glass here. But um, yeah, back way back in the day, they actually used uranium in glass. Um, I really haven't looked up or done the, the research on the history of why they used uranium in glass. But anyway, they did. Carnival glass. Now, this is not, this is the newer carnival glass. See how easy you can see through it? I got it because I have another piece that was handed down to me from my family that's that is the same amber carnival glass color and I really like this this two different you know split um, dish so this will probably be go into my personal stock um, just because it was pretty but I only paid $1.99 for this so um, yeah it's it it was really pretty but again true carnival glass or the the old carnival glass the good carnival glass you wouldn't be able to see the amber through it. When I when I did it like this, you would just see carnival glass. You would see the iridescence. You can see the iridescence here, but you can tell that it's amber through it. Um, <clears throat> on the older stuff, to be able to really get a good idea of what color the glass is without looking at the inside, is to actually hold it up to the light and you'll get the deep red or the deep amber or whatever. So. Um, this is newer, but it's still, when I say newer, I'm saying 60s, 70s, so it's still vintage. It's just not, you know, older than 1960s, maybe. <clears throat> and then I got this really pretty piece. Look at this really gorgeous piece of emerald glass. Just gorgeous. This, and again, I'm not thinking because I've done the research on it and it's been so long that I don't remember what it, it's called. But that being said, I paid 99 cents for this and I do remember that I'm going to be able to list this for about $20. Um, but it's just beautiful. And somebody had actually hidden the carnival glass and this in the, it, I got this at a Goodwill. And they had hidden it back behind um a bunch of i want to say it was in the it was in an area that a lot of people don't really dig through um uh like paper and um note cards and you know stuff like that so um somebody had actually hidden it in in under a bunch of that stuff and I am a digger. I actually do dig through that stuff. So I found it and I'm like, yeah, somebody knew that they, somebody wanted that. This, now I want to say that this is a goblet, um, but it could have very easily been a piece of a, a three piece candle set. I mean, it's big enough to have actually been a candle holder, but I, don't think so. I want to say it's a goblet. Um, I paid $2.99 for this and I wouldn't have paid that much, but I just fell in love with it because I think it, it's just gorgeous. And that being said, if you look at the handle, I don't know if it's going to show on the camera, but the handle, oh yeah, you can see how iridescent the, cap, the, the handle is. And then it's actually signed on the bottom. Um, trying to get it. Yeah, there it is. 
um, by the actual artist. So that being said, I don't, I can't read the signature. Um, so I don't know who the artist is because it's etched in dark glass. So um, I've got a, it, it's like a, a Y or a Z. It looks almost like a Z, but Zane maybe, I don't know. I can't read it, but it's really, really pretty and I like it a lot. Then, I don't know if you guys remember these. These, uh, I thought they were Princess House. My uh, mom had one of these and of course it got broke years ago, but it's you can see where you put the ice on the inside and then you put your wine, your wine coolers, whatever in here. And it's a beautiful carafe. This is, not, it's not Princess House, but I thought it was. But anyway, I paid $4.99 for it. And I will probably sell it for $25. Um, and I may use it for brunch coming up like this, uh, uh, spring brunch that I may have and put my peach sangria in it. I have um, for $1.99 this was it's called Bats B-A-A-T-Z and it's really really pretty look how thin that is vase. Um, it, it's uh, you know it comes open like that very very pretty and it's signed <clears throat> I don't sign, it says a signed of an original. So um, I haven't really looked to see where it's signed. But yeah, so this, this is a really nice piece. Now again, it wasn't chipped until I got packed um, at the store and they chipped it. And so yeah, I wasn't, this was the same day as the other one. Um, and I should have been, it's my fault, I should have paid more attention to how it was being wrapped and packed, but I didn't. Then I got these. Um, this glass I got first, and I got them both at Unique. Um, and look, you can see it's pewter. And they pay, they charge $2.49 for this one. And it's got, isn't, isn't she pretty? That's just gorgeous. I mean, look at that. Okay, and so a week later I was in there again and I found this one. Now the funny thing is, is this one is also pewter and that one's a wine glass. This is a champagne flute. I guess they decided that this one's worth more. So they charged me $5.50 for this one. Um, but this one I got 20% off. The other one I did not. Um, so, yeah, so I paid $5.50 for the dragon and then $2.50 for the fairy. But um, I will probably list them together and I'll probably charge $30 for both. Um, very, very beautiful pieces. Then these vintage copper. Uh, I got a chicken and a bunny. Now these are worth some money. I paid five dollars, four ninety nine each for these, and I can list twenty five dollars for this one, twenty five to thirty five for this one, maybe twenty for the rabbit. Um, the chicken, for some reason, is goes for more. Um, and I'm not going to clean it. I'm going to leave it like it. It should be shiny. Like you can see, the rabbit didn't get as tarnished as the chicken did. But I'm just going to leave that. I'm not going to. I'm not going to clean that up. Um, and then I walked into Salvation Army. And I, honestly, I went in just, just to see what they had because it's a small Salvation Army. And I ended up walking out with a lot more than I expected to. Because sometimes I'll go in there and they just don't have anything. <clears throat> but I actually walked by this because my Salvation Army will have like... It's three levels. It's a really super old building. The top level is all closed. The middle level is all furniture. And the bottom level is where the glassware and stuff is. Um, so this was sitting on one of the tables as decoration. And when I walked by it, I thought, wow, that's really cool. And I picked it up and I just knew that it was something. Um, and so I'm like, well, if I find anything else, I'll come get this because they were charging, they were only charging $3 for it. And I'm like, I don't want to use my debit card for just $3. 
But in my head, I was like, that is something. I know it is. Well, um, I ended up getting some other stuff and I went and picked this up and I bought it. And then when I got home, I did the research on it. So this is a, a Sasha Brostoff. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And it's number six of the series and it's signed right there. And this goes for $40 or so. Yeah. And I couldn't find one just like it. And I found a lot similar to it. Now, the ones similar to it were actually ashtrays. This is not an ashtray. This is actually a dish. So that being said, I couldn't find anything like this. Um, let me see. What else do I have here? Because I'm, I'm about to start on the Fitz and Floyd here. But, um, oh, Fiesta Wear. I have some more Fiesta Wear. Now, I didn't know Fiesta Wear did silverware. Now, I haven't, I haven't actually even opened this up. I paid $3.99 plus the 20% off on these. And um, I'm in a Fiesta Wear group on Facebook. And I am asked them. Is this Fiesta Wear? And they're like, yes, it is Fiesta Wear. It's vintage Fiesta Wear, in fact. And so, yeah, so the only thing is one of the spoons you can see is damaged. It's even kind of funky there. It's bent or whatever. So one of the spoons is damaged, but the rest of them are in, uh, yeah, now, see, now that I've taken it out of the plastic, you can see it says, let me see if I can get that, or you can see it says, I can't get it. Whereas you can see, anyway, it says Fiesta right there. Um, so two, two spoons, two forks, two knives. And, and I see that the fork, this fork is damaged too. So, um, yeah, so I got some Fiesta wear. I'll be selling those. Um, and then some lithographs. You guys, I know I paid, uh, which one was $4.99 or $5.99? I've got so many plastic because they put everything in plastic. My battery's going dead. Um, but I got some really like, pretty lithographs. Uh, so that I got this one's a really pretty gallery print. And then and, each, and the other ones are all in pairs. So these are five, that one's an eight by ten, these are five by seven. I'm going to try to go quick because my battery is going dead. I don't want to lose you guys. And I think that one's adorable. And that one's definitely a 60s thing. Lithographs go pretty for pretty good money. And um, so I'll probably list them each in pairs. Just a couple of flower arrangements. And then these are farm equipment. Um, yeah, really pretty. And then this is just like romantic kind of thing. Let's see if you can get that. So oops, that one goes like that. Very pretty. Okay, I'm gonna speed up a little bit because I don't want my battery to go down on me. Um, August Moon Dream Keepers. I didn't really know what this was, so I researched it in the store before I bought it. I'm gonna make sure, and I paid $2.99 for this. And when you open it, oops, you get this adorable, adorable. Look at that. Look at that. Isn't that cute? Yeah, so this one I can sell for about $20. Um, pay $2.99 for it. In, new in the box, so that's even, even better. Like they didn't throw the, take it out, display it, and throw the box away, so that's good. Okay. Um, Pyrex, I said that, I, you know, I don't do Pyrex anymore, but I kind of do. Now, I've already had this refrigerator dish without the lid, and then I found three more with the lid so i'll list them all together and then this one's a little bit bigger um but these these vintage pyrex dishes are are really fun all right <laughs> speeding up um okay these glasses look at these glasses dollar fifty each and um they're they are so pretty my daughter-in-law is like oh you got me new glasses <laughs> i'm like no i did not I, I might keep those. And then these are, she said these remind her of Christmas, but it's got a gold rim on the top. These are all vintage. I paid $1.50 each for these. I was hoping that there'd be, I got four of the smaller ones and then three of these that I couldn't find the fourth one of this one, but 
<clears throat> okay, so, and then I got this. I think I might keep this one because it's a dog and I think it's really cute. But World Market, $1.50. Um, so it's not vintage, but um, I have a friend I've told you about before, uh, Adriana, that is going to be opening a um, dog grooming shop. And so I tend to find cups like that for her. And I haven't found any in a long time. So I was real excited when I found that. Okay, Fitz and Floyd. Gonna do this real fast. So I found this the other day. This one I paid uh, $2.99 plus the 20% off. And now I almost didn't buy it because the one of the leaves has a chippy on it. Chip, 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 chip. But it's the only one and it, you know, and it is Fitz and Floyd, so it, I'll still be able, $2.99 plus my 20% off, um, so I'll still be able to get some money, and here's another one, it goes with the same series, another Fitz and Floyd, $19.93, um, $2.99 for that one as well, and then this one is um, Fitz and Floyd Mingle, Jingle, and Mary, and I don't know if you're in the box, and it doesn't have the bottom of the box, so... When you take it out, you have to be real careful. Um, yeah. Let's see if I can get these out of there without breaking anything. So it's the Santa Claus or Salt and Pepper Shaker. The Santa Claus and the Present. Aren't they cute? So that's what that one is. Put that back in there. I'll do it later. Um, okay, let me see. What else? Um, Fitz and Floyd. The, all of my Fitz and Floyd seems to be Christmas. So, um, this one, is, these are really poly ones. And I literally, like, I got a whole bunch of things for, like, I, I may have already shown you these now that I think about it. So, this is one of them. They're a little tiny, and they're just, they're just decoration. Um, these may have been on my last video. And oh, I'm not going to take him out. So, and then he's little Santa Claus. And then I'll show you what they look like on the box. So it comes in the box. So, yeah. So I didn't pay much for these at all just because I got them um, at a store that was marking their Christmas stuff off. And so I think I got a whole bunch of stuff for like six bucks. And this one I'm thinking I may have already shown you that. This one is, an, is Fitz and Floyd Believe Platter. And so in, in the box. And this one I got in North Carolina. And really, really pretty. And I believe I paid like $1.99. I don't think the price tag is still on it. Um, yeah, no, I don't, I, it doesn't have the price, I took the price tag off of that one, but I think I paid like a $1.99 for it. Um, this was at a Goodwill in North Carolina. North Carolina's Goodwills don't charge as much as Chicago's uh, Goodwills. And then my last Fitz and Floyd is another platter, Santa Claus platter, and I, this is another one I may have already shown you. Um... Yeah, so, and it's funny because I get Fitz and Floyd Taiwan, Fitz and Floyd China, you know, so Fitz and Floyd actually produces in different places. Now, I also have, I had a, an enamel skillet that my son took to help me try to clean up because it was really bad. Um, it's a lodge enamel skillet and um, it's worth a lot of money, but some of the enamel was chipped and I actually got it for me because I needed a skillet that size. And I don't think I've shown you this is Hager, um, yin, 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 yin and yang. Uh, it's a vase, but this is a, a Royal Hager yin and yang. And guys, before I lose you, I want to thank you for coming and seeing me again. Um, hit the like button, hit the share button, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. And um, go see Crazy Lamp Lady. Um, her videos are amazing. Um, Sue Me is a lot of fun. And um, Facebook page is All Things Thrifters and Pickers. And if you have any questions about your thrifting finds and you can't find it because we ask you to do your research before you ask the questions. Um, and you learn a lot when you do your own research. If you can't find it, throw a picture up there and these wonderful people will indeed 
try to help you figure it out. Um, that being said, thank you, everybody. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you the next time around. Bye.